Hi, I'm Michael Natkin from HerbalVoracious.com. I'm here with Tim Marr of ChefShop.com. We're in his kitchen, and today we're going to make an avocado salsa. Now, uh, we're going to use this very special reed avocado, and I'll show you more about that in a minute. But the first step we're going to do is to dry toast some things in my favorite cast iron skillet. I've had this thing about 20 years, and I use it for everything. That and its big brother. So, in the skillet is going a couple cloves of garlic, and we'll just leave them right in their skin. Some tomatillos. And you've probably seen tomatillos around. They have these funny husks on them. We'll just peel those right off. These are really small ones, so I'm going to use a pretty good handful of them today. But if you have bigger ones, that's just fine too. You just use less. And then we've got a, a nice big shallot. You could also use uh, red onion for this. And a jalapeno pepper. So we're just going to take those over to the stove, put them on over a medium-high flame, and just kind of let them cook for about five minutes or so. Let things start to blister a little bit. And that's going to create a lot of flavor for us. Okay, so we're just going to put this over you know, medium-high heat, and the idea is to get things to blister a little bit. So we'll just move them around a couple times. What we're trying to do is just create some flavor here, not cook them real evenly necessarily, but just get some brown spots and some caramelization happening, and that's going to add a lot more flavor than just the raw product would have. Okay, this is looking great. You see how we got some nice brown spots on the jalapeno, on the shallot, on the tomatillos. That takes a lot of that sort of raw flavor out and creates some more complex caramelized flavors, especially nice with the garlic because you don't want necessarily that raw garlic heat. You want more of the complex flavor. So this is perfect. We'll just turn off the heat. We'll carry it over to our cutting board to finish making the salsa. Bring our frying pan back and then what we're going to do is put the tomatillos right in the blender. They're all done. And the same with the shallot can go in. Get that out of our way and we're going to uh, do a little work on our jalapenos and our garlic here. So for the jalapeno, what you want to do is just take the top off, split it in half lengthwise, and you want to get rid of the seeds. And the easiest way to do that is just to grab a teaspoon and just scrape them right out. And that's ready to go. And then for the garlic, we want to just pop it out of its skin. It usually gets pretty easy to do once it's uh, once it's toasted like that. I've got these incredible reed avocados. These are from uh, Peter and Bonnie Herman. They grow them down in California on these enormous old trees. And they're just amazing. They're really buttery. You can see they're enormous, right? So the way I like to break open an avocado, just like this. Man, these are... These things are a beast and they're so good. And the only place you can really get them is chefshop.com. So what we'll do is just kind of peel that and throw it right in the blender. With a normal avocado, you'd probably use the whole thing, but for this one, probably I'm thinking half will be plenty. And this is one of these recipes where exact quantities are not that critical. You want a little more garlic, great. Use more garlic, more jalapeno if you want it spicy. It's entirely up to you. So then along with the avocado and all the other ingredients, we've got a pinch, nice pinch of cumin. We use some cilantro, most of a bunch, and the juice of a couple of limes. And I like to use this kind of lime, this kind of citrus juicer I find works great. It really catches all the pits uh, and gets most of the juice out. A great tip for using them is after you do each half, you flip it over and that gets the last bit of juice out, as you can see. So we'll do two limes, that should be about right. So. This salsa, you know, it's not one where you need very precise measurements. If it needs more acid, you just add more lime juice. If you need more salt, you add more salt. If you want more heat, you add more jalapeno. And the, uh, you can use this on just about anything from uh, tacos would be great. Serve it as a dipping sauce for tortilla chips, which is how we use it today. We just throw it all in the blender, cover it up. And you could do, you could go two ways on this. You can leave it a little bit more chunky or puree until it's fully smooth. I think we're going to go pretty smooth today. Okay, that's beautiful. We got a nice smooth puree. Let's just give it a taste. Let's see how we like it. Mm, it's very good. It needs more salt. It's spicy. That was the hot jalapeno today. It needs a little more salt. And actually, I'd like it to be just a little thinner. So we'll add just a bit of water to that too. That's it. We got a nice, beautiful reed avocado salsa. 
Again, you can get those reed avocados from chefshop.com during the fall and winter months. And there you have it. Again, I'm Michael Natkin. My blog is called Herb of Voracious, and my book is also called Herb of Voracious. I hope you check it out.